The key feature of Star Chart is that it lets you use augmented reality mixed with a real world simulation of the solar system. Star Chart gets used by everybody from um, parents that want to show off to their children through to people that just want to teach themselves about space. It doesn't follow any formal structure. Uh, it allows you to actually use your own curiosity to educate yourself. Lots of amateur astronomy groups will run uh, get-togethers or star parties. It's an opportunity for astronomers and the general public to actually learn about the night sky. Star Chart uh, gets used at a lot of these events, but people can actually ask a question and then be educated about it. You can find an object in the night sky, you can see it glinting, you can select it and you can travel to it. You can explore the moons of Mars, Phobos, Deimos, you can go to Saturn, explore the rings. All of these things are available to the consumer from seeing something up in the night sky through to exploring it at home uh, with voice control and, and, and their children. As an amateur astronomer, it's a useful tool. I can map certain events using time shift in the future. That allows you to pinpoint a time when you can actually get outside, set your telescope up and be ready in order to capture that moment. With the advent of mobile smartphones being in everybody's pocket around the globe, people can have access to the stores and with the stores they have access to StarChart. StarChart is now installed on well over four million devices. There's loads of things that we're doing to ensure that more people can share StarChart, they can talk about it and they can take the beautiful screenshots that are made from it and entice other people to get excited about astronomy.